Fox 5 weather sponsored by your San Diego County Toyota dealers. Oh, I love this time of year in San Diego. Yeah. It's like the rest of the, the country is kind of getting, you know, a mix of precipitation, maybe a little bit of rain, a little bit of snow. We saw everyone at the Macy's parade yesterday they just sitting wet. there with yeah. the umbrellas on. I'm like, ooh. That looks like a tough way to celebrate Thanksgiving, but you know what? They all enjoy it. They're like, this is what I was here for. We had a good yeah. time. And then here in San Diego, you walk outside. It was just so beautiful yesterday, right? Really I mean, is nothing to complain about. You no, know, it's it such a perfect weather. time of year. And I know a lot of people will be traveling, so make sure that you are checking your flight status because there are lots of changes. Um, we try to keep you up to date on that, but it's up to you. You know, you got to make sure that you check your flight status before you leave. So, yes, very thankful to not be in Bismarck, North Dakota this morning. It feels like it is negative 10 degrees here in San Diego. Beautiful 56 degrees is what it feels like outside, which is basically just what it is. A little drier this morning, a little more uh, warmer to get things started, but we have some of the best weather in the entire country this time of year. So that is why we have people visiting as we move through the next week too. We're going to see a mix of precipitation moving through the northeast. Uh, so a lot of people that are making their travel plans. Take a look at this system right there. Yeah, a little bit of counterclockwise rotation moving through, giving some snow and rain to a very dry northeast. So they could use all the precipitation as we could here in Southern California. But here at home, things are really nice this morning, as I mentioned, a little bit warmer to start by about five degrees. So if you want to get out there, get your holiday shopping in, it is a great day to do it. Overcast skies, not quite the beach day that you're looking for, but if you're visiting, you can still go check it out. And then by the time we get to this afternoon, we're still going to have the clouds overhead, pop of sunshine by the time you get to your sunset, and we'll have some high clouds joining them as well. Weak offshore winds are making it drier right now, so conditions are very dry outside. Drink extra water if you're trying to work off the turkey and the extra slice of pie. It's okay. You're allowed to have it. I'm just saying you might want to get out there and go for that walk. Drying out and warming up in the next two days will be anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees above average. Future scan showing off those clouds, high clouds in the air by the time we move to tonight into tomorrow morning low pressure system. That's going to switch us to onshore flow. That'll bring back some of the moisture. Cloud cover, also warmer conditions for us, bringing those uh, warm onshore winds for us, but not dry, just a little bit of extra moisture in the air so you don't feel like you've got you know that really, really chapped uh, skin as well as needing that lotion and chapstick all the time. Okay, coastline, here you go. Moving into Friday and Saturday with some cloudy conditions. And then on Sunday, we're going to have some extra sunshine, high pressure moving in and clearing out those skies for us. So more stable air as we move into Sunday and Monday next week. Also seasonable temperatures and a little bit cooler to get us through next week. Almost 80 degrees tomorrow inland with those clouds still hanging out and being pretty stubborn for us. And the mountains will clear out overnight temperatures in the 30s. So quite cool there overnight, but really nice for hiking conditions. If you want to head out to Julian, grab some apple pie, see all the decorations and the lights. They're already up and it looks really beautiful on Main Street in the deserts, lots of sunshine for the weekend, almost 80 degrees on Sunday.